Definitely wonderful. We definitely recommend you checking out. Uh, what is this thing called? Resistance Two. Oh man, Revenge Resistance. Uh, Rid something. Anyway, this, this boat is awesome. This establishmentarianism. No. This boat is awesome. <laughs> Good morning, boat. Good morning, Luna. Good morning. How'd you sleep last night? Really, really well. The yeah. bed is super comfortable. Yeah. And uh, and you had enough space? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yes. That's good. I don't well, want to share it, though. Well, uh, when Mia gets here, you can try to convince her to sleep on the deck. Mm, sounds good. It'll work out yep. well, don't you think? Yeah. So... We're in Newport Beach, mm -hmm. which is close to L.A., mm -hmm. which is like home of your dreams. Mm -hmm. So what are you excited to do today? Um, visit some cool places and have experiences that... Oh, wow. Could you be any more vague? Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, go places. And have experiences. <laughs> have experiences. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, well, let's go to a diner, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, chill, and hopefully, I don't know if it'll have a view of the of the marina, but it's like half, a, half 500 feet from here, so one would think. Right, exactly. Okay. Bye. Kind of sad looking seals. They're a little broken. Mm. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, that's a great picture. Oh, tiny bubbles. <laughs> Hi, kid. I'm going to do um, a time lapse of the bottom half. Yes, please. Let's see the difference between ours. I think I'm doing it, but I don't know. It says hyperlapse, but I don't know. Oh, you it. are. Okay. Yours, this is. Uh, mine just has the little timer thing. That's all. Yours actually says timer. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I know, right? This <laughs> is the most unflattering like section to look at in one's body. This part. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're not going like this. <laughs> you can give people your complexes. Because, like, Sarah from Sarah and Vinny has given me her complex about necks and 11s. What? Do you want me to give you the complex? Because it will give it to you. I don't know if I want you, it. You may not because you're so far away from me. It's an old thing. Oh. Um, like, the 11 is this. Yeah. And so, like, as you get older, it becomes more pronounced. Yes. But it becomes, like, there all the time, whether you're doing that or not, kind of thing. That's, like, where some lines happen. And then the neck is just, like, how old you are, like, if your neck looks old. Yeah. Um, so I'm always like, oh, I think I think my neck will pull down. Okay. I love you. You're my favorite. <laughs> it's weird to think that you're almost not almost forty, but you're not. Yeah. No, oh, I am. Because no, <laughs> you just look so young. So it's early in the morning, the girls have already headed off to breakfast, and uh, I think I'm going to head out and meet them. I hope I can find it. It's the Marina Diner, it shouldn't be too hard. Other than that, it's been a beautiful morning, a wonderful night's sleep here on this Airbnb. Fantastic. <laughs>
goddamn your ass. Goddamn your ass. Look, guys, it's it's my first time doing it. I'm actually doing something for myself. I'm not making you do it for me. Oh wait, this too. Not a lot of privacy, but a lot of beautiful light. This is actually pretty damn cool. It's on. I gotta say, uh, I think I'm gonna Airbnb boats for more often. For more often, I think I'm gonna Airbnb boats more often now. This is uh, certainly pretty dope. Let's go check in with the girls. What you guys doing? I'm confused as far as how to work her fancy, not so fancy hair straightener. Ooh, con air. Um, isn't that a movie sure with, uh, isn't that a movie with Nicolas Cage? Con Air? I don't pay attention to Nicolas Cage if at all possible. How's it mm, going so. on the boat? I need to brush my teeth. Did you put the teeth brushes in there? No? Teeth brushes? Yes, they are in there. Okay. Teeth brushes are in there. I just brushed my teeth. I'm going to shut her in there. Hey, ah. Hi. Day two. Day two is already super relaxing. Yeah. We've been uh, chilling on the boat all morning, went out and got some breakfast. Separately. Separately, but equally. Mm. Yeah. I had toast. Okay, you know. And grapefruit. Reparations. <laughs> anyway, so planning today really is to go into LA so that my dearest Luna can have some Thrift, sh thrift store experiences. She's gonna pop some tags. Yeah. Yeah. So and then uh, I'm only giving her twenty dollars in her pocket. No, we'll give her more than that. Two hundred dollars in her pocket. No, a little less than that. Twenty-two dollars in works. her pocket. Twenty-two. Okay. It's a ten percent bump. Uh, so, but yeah, we've been enjoying it. Uh, it's been a really, really cozy, really wonderful. We definitely recommend you checking out. Uh, what is this thing called? Resistance Two. Oh man. Revenge, resistance, uh, rid something. Anyway, this, this boat is awesome. This establishmentarianism. No. This boat is awesome. Yeah, the boat is really cool. Um, yeah. It's super cozy. You know, fairly small inside, but but like it's supposed to be because it's a smaller sailboat. It's Absolutely. it's really fun to be around. I like uh, how wooden everything is. I'm into that. I like how everything's designed to kick back here. I know. Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, well, let me kick back and think about it. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it could be hard, well, it could be hard to leave your boat once you're on your boat, because you're like, ah. Uh, but I've already got paradise right here. With me. Exactly. The next step is to actually sail the boat, not just be on the boat. Actually, no, the next step is to be on a bigger boat. No, no, the next step is profit. <laughs> no, for the cruise. Oh, yeah. We're going to go on a really big boat. We're going from a boat to a boat to uh, the end of the environment. I mean, I know. No, I definitely feel a little torn about that, mm -hmm. going on a, a cruise ship when I know that those things destroy. Actually, something about like the top three uh, boats in the world put out as much cars as, uh, power, or carbon dioxide as the... Monoxide? Let me dioxide? say that again. The top three boats in the world use more of our environment than use our all, environment. Huh? Okay, how about this? The top three <laughs> boats in this world have a bigger carbon footprint than all the cars in America. Yeah. At least that's what the rumor is. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. So yes, that's one thing about traveling. There's this line between, I mean, I love the idea of ecotourism and I read an article the other day that said all tourism should be ecotourism, which yeah. I agree with, but let's be real, the world is not made up of ecotourism as a totality quite yet. So there are decisions you have to make, and... And we've never been on a cruise like this, so I figured check and, it out. It was... And it was a last minute thing. We thought we were gonna take the RV into Mexico, and then we read some things about how large 
and heavy yeah, apparently. it was. Well, yeah, no, uh, they since there's some rule in the books that they haven't been enforcing until Trump got president, and now they're enforcing it because... I get it. Don't get me wrong. They I understand. They mine, says the Mexico. Yeah. <sighs> so should they. Anyway, point being that it was very last minute plans. We knew we wanted to travel. We realized we couldn't take the RV into Mexico, but we still wanted to go. Yeah. So I looked at flights. I looked at lots of things, and this cruise was the most economical option. And since we need things to be economical in order to work towards our larger goal of actually living on a boat, like I said, there's, I don't know, there's things up in the air. We had to choose. We had to pick. We had and, to split the baby in half, and the cruise is the baby being split in half. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm not going to enjoy it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There's I mean, nothing if you're like going it. to kill the environment, at least enjoy yourself while doing it. No, if you're going to split a baby in half, you might as well Shh. enjoy it. Don't bring babies into this. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? What? Santana Row. I don't know what that is. Oh. It's in Santa Clara. It's the Richie part. Oh, is it? And by across from the mall was the was Santana Row, and it was where all like the high end shops and everything were. Mm. Probably didn't take you there because you were not high end back then. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Watch out, people walk behind you. Oh yeah, don't forget the bag. <laughs> 